This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I just got a great package from YouTube user Ephraim Barkbit. He sent me the three locks that you see in front of you, and let me take you through what they are. First, we have an Indian lock, a Europa Diamant, I believe is how you pronounce it, and it's actually the second one that he sent me. I have the first one right here, and I picked it once. I got this a couple weeks ago, picked it once, opened it, relocked it, and since then, the key has not worked and I have not been able to pick it. So you always hear people saying, never pick a lock that is in use or one that you rely upon. And this lock is a great demonstration of why. I completely bricked this lock. I suspect what I did was turn that core 90 degrees and probably let some of the drivers and or springs get jammed up in the mechanism. And now it does not work at all. However, Ephraim sent me a replacement. So thank you very much. That's actually the one we're gonna pick in this video. But first, let me take you through the other locks. The next lock we have here is an ASA SCD cylinder. Looks like a seven pin lock. And if we look really carefully, we might be able to see what appear to be some finger pins down there. So it should definitely be a tricky pick. The final lock over here is a Godridge 70 millimeter Dora lock with a nine pin dimple core. And let me talk about the brand for a minute because Godridge was a lock company that I had never heard of up until a few months ago. And once I did, I checked out their product line and was really impressed. It's one of the coolest lock companies that you've probably never heard of. And when I did find it, I picked up a few of their locks, including the 90 millimeter version of this lock, which is right here. I've never seen a 90 millimeter disc lock. I've seen 70s and 80s, but never one quite this big. And it also has a scaled up 14 pin dimple lock core. Now that core is in a lot of Godridge locks, including this next one. It, is, uh, it has two of those cores in it. And it's not a dual custody lock, it's actually a dual access lock, which means the key on the right can actually open both cores and open the lock. However, the key on the left will only work if it's been authorized by the key on the right. It's a really interesting little setup. I'll take you through it one of these days. Next, we have that same 14 pin dimple core again in a lock design that I have never seen before. Has a full circle shackle. And the neatest lock in their lineup, I think, is the Herculock Plus. And it doesn't look like much, it just looks like a large beefy padlock until you figure out that they put an EVA 3KS core in it right from the factory. I've never seen this core as an OEM product in any lock, and I certainly wasn't expecting to find it in a lock made in India. So let's put everything aside and focus on the Europa lock. I have the original packaging from Ephraim, and let me take you through a, take you through a couple of interesting points about it. First, the lock body. It says it has an inner zinc alloy construction. And if you've watched my videos for long, you know that zinc alloy is not the best material to make lock parts out of. The reason for that is that it has a really low melting temperature. So you can hit the lock with a torch and melt the, melt the lock. The outer portion of it, it's actually, how do I show you this? It looks like it has a, a crimped outer layer, is made out of stainless steel slash brass. I'm not sure exactly what that means. It looks like a brass, a brass plated, I guess, stainless steel. Not really sure exactly what that is. But the next interesting part is the, the key. It's a 14 pin dimple key lock. And if we look a little further below, it is advertised that it has micron accuracy and it is unpickable, all capital letters. 
And that unpickable portion is what we are going to put to the test. Now I can tell you right now, this lock is definitely pickable. I have single pin picked it before, but it's actually pretty tricky. It took me, gosh, at least a few minutes to do it before three or four minutes. But what we are gonna do today is not single pin pick it. We are going to rake it open because that works much, much faster. So let's try to do that right now. Let's get some tension in here and use this sawtooth rake. We have three different bidding surfaces that we have to make sure we get. We have the one right here, here, and here. Okay, I'm not getting it. So let me reset the lock and try again. And of course, now that I've got the camera on, the lock has given me a little bit of trouble. And I think we just got it. There we go. I'm gonna put the the pick in there to make sure I don't make the same mistake I made before and drop anything into that, that keyway. But you can see we do have it open. And let me relock it before something bad happens. Okay, so this has been the Europa Diamant Padlock with the 14 pin unpickable core. And as you can see, it was raked relatively Quickly. Certainly not unpickable, but definitely a very interesting lock. So, Ephraim Barkbit, thank you very, very much for sending two of them my way. Sorry I messed the first one up. To everyone else, if you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.